It's November now, 2013. The New Year is coming up. We're going to have lots of people making New Year's resolutions. The gyms are going to be packed full with everyone losing weight and getting in shape. But come February, the gyms are empty. What happens? Why is it that so many people have great intentions? They start with great intentions. You know, they set their goals. They really want to make some change. Again, whether it's relationship, whether it's career, whatever it is, but then they fall short. Then they, they go back into their old patterns and they fail to make any real significant change. What, what, what is that process? Why, why do we screw up like that? Um, for the guy's side, one, I would start with a gut check, which is we've lost what true commitment is. Back to Going commitment. Back to that thought process. Yeah. Because when's the last time, you, if you looked yourself in the mirror and said, listen, as a man, on my word of who I am as a human being, I will follow through with this come hell or high water. Mm. Now, you can say that about your goal of losing five pounds and hitting the gym five days a week at 6 a.m., but if you were really committed, if you really truly knew what it meant to be a man and hold your word to the, you know, the test of the fire, you'd show up. And that's how they used to do it. That was called honor. Mm. That was called commitment. That was called you know, being a man back in the day. Yeah. So nowadays, we don't, we don't do that. It's like, yeah, I didn't feel like it. <sighs> Back in the day, you didn't feel like it. You shamed your family's history forever. Right. Which, there's some cultures that take that a little too far. <laughs> sure. So there's a balance needed, but we've gone so far away from it in the Western world that people don't even know what it is to step up and be a man in that manner anymore. Wow. And, and if, if, you're being, if this statement irritates you, it should. Gut check. Yeah, check what's happening. Yeah. That's what it's for if you're listening into this. You're going, shit, like, man, I, I wish I could stand up for my word. Mm. Do it. Become the type of guy that when you say I'm going to do something, you show up and do it no matter what it takes. Right. And then you start realizing you won't say stuff unless you mean it. Right. And you'll be kind of guy that your wife, your, your significant other, your friends, your family, they're like, shit, man, trust me. When he says it, it's done. You don't have to, you don't have to think about it. Right. Right. We'll do it. It's just the way he is. Become that kind of human being in all that you do. And sticking through a New Year's resolution will be a joke. But the two other reasons for anyone listening, number one is you don't have a big enough reason why. It, it's, a, it's so over told, so over said nowadays that people say that all the time and it it's, sounds like a great way to just phrase it nowadays. But it's true. You haven't found your real reason because when you come up with a big enough reason why, you will find a way to make a way or create a way to, to stick through a resolution. The other thing is accountability. You don't have a team. And if you've ever played a team sport mm. in your life, and ha I remember when I was in high school, I played American football. And if you're watching from Australia, the gridiron. <laughs> and I, I remember playing football there, and it was a thing that if every person on the team did not show up to the gym by 6 a.m., everyone has to go run a mile. Ooh, yeah. That's accountability. Yeah got 46 other guys that will beat the hell out of you if you don't show up by 6 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> and if they don't get you physically, they'll take you out somewhere else in class or in school or up at the quad or halfway, you know, during a play in football. They'll, they'll set you up down the middle and throw you a high fly and see what happens when four guys hit you. <laughs> like, they'll get you back for making them run a mile. And that's true accountability, having a team Having a group of people that you all count on each other to show up or else.